your annex up you'll have five roof bars for your annex if you just grab one of them um, and just roughly measure it to the width of the original tent that will give you a good starting point for setting up your annex and then you can lay all those actually on the floor in position all five of them coming off of roughly where them five poles are that go over the roof so once you measure one against the roof you can obviously measure the other four against the same length and then start laying them out just like that against the floor roughly where they're going to go on the roof so if you do this it makes life a lot easier to grab them right where you're working pick them up to put them into the roof these roof bars for the annex are actually numbered um, number one to hook The outside corner poles are numbered number six, which um, you can get a rough guide of the height there against the side of the trailer, and that can lay down the corner of the annex right where you want it. You see what Dan was doing here is grabbing the highest poles, which are 10, 8, and 7, 10 being the highest, 8 being the next one down, 7 being the next one down. He's actually giving them a rough line up against the side of the trailer so you know roughly how high they've got to be and then land them down in their corresponding place. In between each roof bar at the front of the annex you've got a little C to C spreader bar, they're numbered number three and there's one between each position. And they've got they've got the C clips on them so you just clip those together. Oh. And the next stage setting up the annex you can pull your annex roof over Pull down like that. Then you need to get underneath and hook your first pole in to the roof. And hook your first pole into the actual roof there, the highest point. Then you can come underneath, grab your pole that you've placed on the floor, ready to go for the, the roof bar. I want to lower this pole back down so you can get it back in. And just push that through the pole and then through your hole in your roof. And then spread your pole up like that. And then come back outside. Obviously once you've got that centre pole up, at least you've got it held up off the ground. Once you've got that up, the pole should more or less hold itself there, as long as it's not windy. And you can come along to the end and stick your one of your end poles in. Once it gets to this stage, you might want to put a guide rope on there just to hold that back. Especially if you're working on your own. It's just a ghost to show it's possible to actually do this on your own. A lot easier if there's two of you, but today we're not fortunate to have two of us. Someone's got to hold the camera. Once you've done that end, then obviously you can go to the other end and do the same process at the other end. Same process again, hook that in the corner pole there above the bed, come across to there, pick your pole up. That's why it just makes life that little bit easier if you've got your poles laid out roughly on the floor where they need to be, then you can just bend down and pick them up, especially if you're working on your own. Take that end down as well. And it's self support. Once you get in the rough shape, you can spread the roof bar out a bit just to make that have a better shape. And then you can come inside and start filling 
the other two in. that last roof bar in there. Generally we need something to stand on just to get to these higher points to spread the roof out etc. It is fairly tall. So make sure you carry either a little too small step ladder um, or make sure you've got your esky or something like that. Just clicks in, clicks in that end. They're a bit stiff at first when they're new. Then you just spread that part and tighten it up. And then you've got the same going along these three here. Which are the smaller ones here. A little bit shorter than the other end. Once you spread these ones, when you read retake them out, you can leave them at that sort of spreaded distance and then just pop them back in, slide them in afterwards. And it's just the last one going into there now. And that's it. All four of those spreader bars are in. They should be fairly firm now. Just spread your other roof bars out. Tension up a little bit. Now that's it, the actual annex is fully set up. If you look back from here, roughly your annex roof should be level with your main roof at the top, should be roughly in line. At this stage you can go around and put some more guide ropes up. Just tension it up a little bit more. Just to take a little bit better shape. Back here you've obviously got a, a peg here. On a guide rope that actually pulls out the tropical roof a bit. Just to let a little bit more air flow through the back of the tropical roof. This little piece of vinyl, as I said, it just goes on the roof like that, on the edge. When it is actually raining, it just creates a low point, just tension it up to the ground. It'll create a low point for the water to run off. And that's normally um, you know, about a third of the way across the actual awning. And generally it's probably worth lowering.